Hey everyone, hope you are doing great. This video is going to be interesting as I'll be comparing two Android keyboard applications. On one side we have Gboard which is one of the most popular Android keyboards and comes as a default keyboard with most of the Android devices. And on the other side we have Floors Board which is an open source keyboard application, respecting your privacy and does not collect your data. I will divide this video into different sections so that you will have a better idea about these keyboard applications. And just a gentle reminder guys, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on channel notifications so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. Now let's get straight to the comparison and you can choose the best keyboard for your Android device. Starting with keyboard preferences, both keyboards equally offer several options like number row, emoji switch keys and one handed mode. Apart from this, you also have keypress options like sound and vibration along with haptic feedback. When it comes to sound and vibration settings, this is where Gboard falls behind Floors Board. As you can see that there are separate sound and vibration modes for different keypress options like pop-up menu, delete key or even gestures. Other than these sound modes, you can also ignore system audio sounds and it does not matter if the device audio is disabled. These Floors Board sounds should work perfectly fine. When it comes to tabbing options, both keyboards offer several features like adding language, suggestions, dictionaries and auto capitalization. But Gboard does it better here because in Floors Board, all the suggestion settings are still under progress and you have a smaller number of languages when compared to Gboard. However, Floors Board is continuously getting updated and you might be able to see full-fledged suggestion options soon. If you prefer a keyboard with better suggestions, you might not be satisfied with Floors Board as of now, but other than that, you have some great features in tapping options as well. So this was all about tapping options, now let's move to theming. When it comes to theming, both keyboards offer different approaches. Talking about Gboard first, you have options to choose from different backgrounds like different colors and you can also select from already provided landscapes and gradient colors. You can choose light, dark as well as auto theming options. You also have a choice to customize your own background like choosing any image as a keyboard background. Now coming to Floors Board, you get the same options as light, dark or you can let the keyboard decide to change theme based on the time of the day like light theme during the day and dark theme during the night. It is a small but a useful feature. You can also choose from different inbuilt themes like Floors Black, Borderless or even Gboard Night theme. When it comes to creating your own theme, you have three different options in Floors Board. You can import themes to Floors Board or you can create from an already selected theme. And you can also create an empty theme and then customize from different colors. When it comes to creating an empty theme, you have options to choose a primary color, accent color, background color as well as tons of other options, making it a very customizable keyboard. But one thing to note here is that you cannot select your own image as the keyboard background. That is the only missing feature here. Other than that, this keyboard is fully customizable. Apart from all these theming options, Floors Board can also adopt color based on the application you use, provided that the application supports that feature. From my point of view, I would prefer theming options present in Floors Board as you can customize every bit and piece inside. So that was all about the theming options. Now let's talk about gestures. Both keyboards offer you almost same options when it comes to glide typing. If you enable glide typing on both these keyboards, you will be able to display the glide trial and other gestures or even enable gesture delete. To be more precise, Floors Board offers more gesture control as you can see from the provided options. You can choose from different spacebar gestures or even customize swipe velocity and distance threshold. It is very clear that Floors Board developers have paid a great attention while designing this keyboard and I would give a plus to this keyboard here. So these were all the features that are offered by these keyboards and I forgot to mention that Floors Board has a full emoji support as well so there is nothing to worry about that. Now when it comes to typing experience, you might already know about Gboard. It's great. Haptic feedback, sound, typing speed, everything is great. Now after some tweaks, you can make Floors Board almost same as Gboard after adjusting the bottom section as well as height and all so you won't face any issue while typing. You will actually feel like you are typing with Gboard. In all the comparisons I mentioned in this video, I feel that Floors Board is a clear winner here in almost everything except suggestions which are definitely going to improve in the future updates. And the most important feature which separates Floors Board from Gboard is that Floors Board is completely open source. It does not collect your data and provides you a safe typing environment. If you still have not used Floors Board, I would recommend giving it a try and you are definitely going to enjoy it. And I also wanted to let you know that there is a beta version of Floors Board which offers a more refined interface. I will leave all the download links in the video description, make sure to check them out. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you soon in my next video.